What? It fits pretty perfect right there though. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, that's fine. So that... Yeah, that leaves plenty of room for the... Did you cut your shell on? Probably just from the pressure of moving it busts over the skin, so... Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's not a problem. It's okay? The cables are good? Everything's good. All right. It's not as smooth as a commercial gym, such as the one Dale Chance uses, but it provides more resistance. Gotta watch here, the grip slip on the bottom. Hold it up here, because it'll slip off when it's set. Got the chest, it's, when you're thin, it's a great finisher, and a great rear belt finisher. When you're so damn tired, you can still sit there and just pound them out. As Jay would say, since he doesn't do these, because he likes having floppy Oh, he said this is for it's chicks, gay. right? Yes. That's gay. Expect to see Brad with very impressive chest development. All right. It's like he doesn't have it already, but it will be better. Your boobs are going to end up bigger than mine. No, it's not. <laughs> Wonder what this costs? A couple grand, three grand. Hey, you want to buy it? Re, I think refurbished things. These things are upward like four grand. Oh, wow. That's refurbished. Yeah. Thanks again, Aladdin. Yeah, man. Yeah, Aladdin pounded these out big time on that pack deck. Very intense. Yeah, you got some great work. size in the six months. That's yeah. true. I'm surprised you didn't fucking like pick his brain on how to actually film and upload shit since you were there all the time. <laughs> Yeah. And I missed the photo map. Yeah. Well, you guys have different sleep schedules, right? Because you sleep all day, and he actually sleeps like a human being at night. Yeah. But he'll be coming back. Mm -hmm. Me and Aladdin are. A lot of people were messaging me asking, all right, oh, I'll let Aladdin abandon my knee. Aladdin's gone abandoned. for a month, he'll be back. Right. He's got great, things, great things are going to happen. He's got business to do up in Canada. Canada. Where was that fucking thing? That was on the other side. Right. How many more masks do we have? One more? Yeah, I think it's... It, yeah, two more. Huh. So we'll put one more here. Slide this bench over. I mean, not... Yeah. One more here and then another one right there. And then just leave this part open. You guys, you guys are going to do a back workout You just need one more piece and almost the floor would be almost covered. Huh. Or unless there may be two in there, I don't know. Maybe there is two. What? The whole floor There's is covered. Two. Well, you're There's right, two. Brad. Well, except There's for right here. Mats. You're a logistic genius. <laughs> don't start with that shit. It must be from all those parcels that he has to stuff into different boxes. <laughs> <laughs> It was nice of them to wrap these. The other ones they just fucking threw in there, huh? Oh, yeah. And when they were getting those off the truck, they were literally just kicking them off the very top, not even lowering the thing down. This is like a dream come true. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever dream of something like this? This is my anger management. So whenever I feel like slapping her, I can just come right out here. Wow. What are you saying? <laughs> What are we seeing uh -oh. now, Brad? Uh -oh. Come on, now that phone is going to attack me. We're seeing Brad's tough guy exterior here. I haven't seen this side of Brad. <laughs> At least she's not oversensitive to the fucking joke. Maybe now. Because of and anybody, this is a serious request. What I would love to see right on top is if you can get a vintage World War II German Wehrmacht swastika. Oh, red, no. red flag, black in the middle. Oh, no, absolutely and the, uh, not. Absolutely not. not. And the iron cross in the upper right hand corner. Oh, God. A big one. When, that you, get, would be, when you get your own house, that would complete you can do that. That's not going to Absolutely <laughs> fucking not. You know how awesome that would look? <laughs> A vintage, which you I'm sure from. From what, 80, right, 80 years ago? I'm going to in the fucking P.O. box in a few days. Oh, actually. those will not be going up there. Well, yeah, For anyone that sends them, hotel. they will not be going there. <laughs> <laughs> Hang them in your hotel <laughs> We need to have a talk, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't just, please, move this over so I can put that mat in this spot. 
I'm waiting for my instructions, Brad. You just like hopefully train me on my post over one day. You're gonna tell me step by step. So okay. did you apply? Uh, I'm gonna work. I don't think I applied correctly. I think I have to redo it. Did you really it. apply though? Yeah, I did. You're lying. You're lying. You're no. like Jason. I asked you something, and you you no, gave me the answer that you think I want to fucking. We did, read. but I don't think it. You know, certain certain things I couldn't did go through or something. But. You mean certain things didn't go through? Like Maybe. certain. Post office does everything online. They don't even fucking go for an interview. Patreon, one more chance, have a vote, and start charging one dollar per month. See what response you get. I feel this hiatus from the podcast has changed a lot of minds and souls, and they will want a more consistent product. Try again. Please and thank you to your loyal follower and servant. Well, let's get the main ass get the feedback. I That's like what that. I mean. Let, you know, there you go. Your right hand push out. Okay. Do you want to elaborate on that story, Leonard? <laughs> yeah, I didn't measure out the G. Measure. I love how he says measure. Thanks to Rob Zell, I had the good formula that worked like a charm every time. Uh -huh. That's another thing. You always got to take the dosage that your body is used to when you get the required effect. Is there a weight thing? Probably. It goes by how much you weigh? Yeah, it might go how long have you eaten, what have you eaten. There's a lot of factors involved, but. Generally speaking, weight like, has to have something to do with yeah. how much you should be taking. Yeah. So you took too much of it and then ended up puking. Didn't measure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In Luckily, the back of the car. At the uh, exotica convention we went to, oh, I had a, that, They okay. gave out bags. Actually, I had stuff for Brad. It was a leather uh, booth, and they had all kind of whips, chains, and leather goods, and they had workout bags too. Really? And there was a twink wearing a leather jock strap with a beard, with tattoos, and everything in the leather. <laughs> Kind of muscular. He's like, here we got a gym bag. You imagine coming in with a water bottle that says 
some type of let some type of gay leather gear. Imagine walking around with one of those things. It's like here we got a water bottle for the gym. Oh, That'd be imagine. great. And with the bag, luckily it was waterproof, so and I had all kinds of stuff in that pretty bag. It's sad because I'd keep in the bag. <laughs> Throwing it out the window because it starts stinking. I was like, get that fucking thing out of here, it stinks. What were you gonna save it and rinse it off? Actually, I was. Because uh, there was some good stuff in there. <laughs> Pictures, you yeah. know. So you puked in, in my leather gift bag. Yeah. I was gonna present that on a podcast, so it'd be so funny. There's a water bottle or something. Gay SM stuff. I mean, there's six sick of stuff on there. Where is this at? For, for they saw it at the Miami Convention Center. Mm. It was a porn convention. Every porn star, all the... Isn't that, that the one where you had a girl riding around on your back? Yeah, famous <laughs> porn star. Oh, you guys got kicked out of there, right? Yeah, for no reason. No. For no reason. Because I was scaring somebody. Uh-huh. I mean, I see you at an exotic convention, hanging around the leather section. I'm gonna be a little scared too. Hey, I'm scared of that. Yeah, but it's filled with freaks. Why am I? Come on. It's because some bitch, some white bitch, I guess, got scared or something like that. Because I asked one of the girls to give me a smack and give me a bite. That's stupid stuff. Why do you say white bitch? Because there's a distinct. She was a Karen. I don't know. Oh, but I'm just saying, some of these most 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 of the white ones are a little fucking uptight. That's why Lenny. They're mentally ill. <laughs> They're mentally ill. Down here, admit it, right? <laughs> they all go there. They're all freaks, but you're the superior freak. Well, <laughs> they the couldn't handle it. Call. For any people are scared. Well, actually, the famous porn star, I forget her name, uh, Sarah J. Rather. Her bodyguard, some big spook, 350 pounds. Oh. oh. He told me I had to pay for a picture. I said, I just did. So he didn't make me or something like that. And he tried to kiss ass instead of taking it to me, which I lost respect for. And he might just call security. I ruined it for Lou. So. Well, that's too fucking bad. If he told his wife, he didn't make that to me. He's just like a fucking Jay with shit. Just standing there and hold shit. What are you going to do, Brad? I mean, why are you my instructions? <laughs> Waiting on your instructions. I want you to get down here and run to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can train out here without a shirt naked, but I recommend wearing a dog strap. Because in my case, I found out through the Greg's filming in Vegas that I have dog balls, which hang on, which drag on the floor. They hang too much. And that's not a good thing. I don't think that's a good thing at all. You don't think it's a good thing, huh? Actually, what, uh, do what do you think? I think do you think like dog balls or, or the only thing I just think of like a caveman dragging his knuckles. So that's like you dragging your balls. Yeah, well, he is pretty much. Right. Right. I think right. there's forty-five here and here. Okay. And maybe like fives here. That's fine. The ones you guys brought. Yeah. So all the all forty-fives will be on here. So all that all the bug weights will be. Yeah. And you can. I mean, this is deep enough for you to squat without hitting this, right? As deep as you go? Yeah. No, so you're perfect and safe. Perfect, yeah. perfect and safe. You just cut off it, shrug, shrug off it. Wait a minute. Don't put all the weight. We got, we got to move this over. Yeah. So take those weights off. Please. Honey, you know what you can do? You can put a couple of those uh, Swiffer things on your, on your ball sack. Walk around the gym. You can clean the gym for me while you're walking around and working out. <laughs> You like the way you're thinking, she's always thinking about how to, how to clean things more efficiently. <laughs> I like how Brad used the innovation on Jay's cable, where he got a bar like this and he did front raises with it. Very innovative. I'm now, man, yes, if anybody could send some handles for side battles and uh, ankle. Ankle wraps, you can do a leg curl. That'd be great. We'll promote your product. We'll be posting his Amazon wish list to his yeah. Instagram. What do you think, Dale's on looking at his motorcycle, bringing friends over, polishing it up, revving up the engine, the whole nine yards. He probably got one of those dorky biker helmets. Probably got a leather jacket and joined a biker gang. <laughs> With the yeah. spikes on there. Yeah, where's your helmet with a little fucking propeller yeah. on the top? <laughs>
We love you, Dale. You know that. Too bad you can't do the Ruby this year, but Lenny, because he's... Tell, tell him why you said you can't do the Ruby this year. I didn't have a proper off-season masking protocol. So I'd be dieting now. I'd diet down to nothing. Because normally you start your diet when you're doing the Ruby, you start your diet now. And Dale, you're trying to promise you'd be a super red heavyweight. But there ain't no hell you're going to be a super heavyweight in condition and at your best this year. I so shoot not. for next year. He's not capable. What? He's not capable. What makes you say that? To be in shape, sure, he can make the division. He can weigh in 225, whatever. But I don't think he will be in condition. I want to see him bring the conditioning that he had at the Ruby we did earlier together with a super heavyweight body. Like how, like 20 more pounds of muscle? What did he weigh, what did he weigh in at? 202, something like that. 212. Not sure. That's what uh, Leonard wants, Dale. You can you hear that? At his best. And me at my best, the super heavy right would be close to 300 pounds shredded. So then would so, you do it next year? Yes. This is, this is what you call, you can't call him a has -been. It's a never will be. This is a delusional. I'm not yet, but I'm still young, 18. Uh -huh. Just so I can get through this, you know, me and Jay in the future. It's not messing with your OCD, that not being completely centered? Oh, uh, well, when Jay gets here, he, oh, you gotta move that. You gotta move this. Well, They'll be like, dude, why is that here? Yeah. Stupid. What are you thinking? Stupid. You know, in my experience, I think this will work out a lot better over here. That's all I can hear. You gotta have this next to that. <laughs> Mr. Interior Designer fucking Jay. Oh. I know, I moved the kitchen table and he complimented me on my kitchen table movement. I'm surprised that he didn't have something to say about where that was. No, he just said that it looks much better there. A so I can't cap. tell if it was a dig or a compliment. It was compliment. gonna take up my room, a standing cap, plate loaded, wish list. The breath, the ultimate piece. Maxwell Lake Press in the future. Right here, hanging out here, so you just have a walkway. Let's Another see. Mat, right here. You can load 45s on both ends for the ultimate wish list. Right here. You think I can fit a fucking leg press right A leg press hat combo, like Luke Santa had. It's, I mean, you're looking at prongs out to here for the weights, but you're just going to have a walkway, which is fine, right? Because you don't need a big space. No. But I'm just saying, it will probably be out to here. It will be doable only here. But to me, that would be the ultimate piece. And obviously a seated plate loaded calf, you know. I think I'm pretty good right now. Yeah, <laughs> definitely the leg press. I mean, so I can do a complete leg workout. This is great. Thanks for coming over and helping with this. Oh, it's my pleasure. Be, glad to be a part of it. And thanks again, Aladdin. This is awesome. It's going to be well put to use. This equipment's going to be famous. Famous? Famous equipment. <laughs> Look at that. Better than a commercial gym. Throw shit around, be loud. Yeah, it's a nice, where it's not too slippery, you know, just, and it gives you a good negative on the way because, because of that. That's what I like about that. If you don't, you get a, a difficult negative to where the ones that they lubricate, I don't know what they do with the new cables, they swing back. Yeah, that is different fucking weight than at the gym. Yeah, you get a good negative. Better. It's not like, like when you're done, how it like kind of goes back and pulls, right? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? I think it's the pulley system on. Um, the, and plus, the because it's old, it's a, it's a way of. I don't know, but that feels heavier that way. Yeah, you get more than negative. Because 100 pounds on there and a and 100 pounds that you put on the at the gym, it's different. Well, we definitely went through and put WD-40 on it, but some of these. <laughs> You're Some of these cables to, look like... You're not supposed to put WD-40 on those. You gotta put like... Uh, what, grease? Some, no, some kind of powder. Like graphite paste? I forget well, what it's called. Well, uh, actually, let me ask Jay. If, if, it gets, if it gets fucked up, it's because of me. Though. I don't know how we set this up without Jay here. I know. You can make all of this without the bully. <laughs> I'm fucking believable. Of course, when he comes back, you're gonna critique it. You're gonna get your. We're gonna get our asses chewed. Yeah, we need to do something. Why would you put this? 
Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I just got, I want to fill in these walls. With That's stuff. okay, Rob, I'll take off. Rob's in there sweating, we're doing something. Rob Zell at LA Fitness and Jay comes in just to watch and says, what did you just do? <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what caused Rob to explode. <laughs> a little friction there. <laughs> what did you just, what are you doing? Like this, he goes in front of other people, he's sitting there with his legs crossed. What are you doing? Yeah, he's yeah, talking like he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just gets that trip and sweat. Jay, only certain people can put up with Jay. But Rob Zell admitted, Jay, he can get you fired up to train. Yeah, because he pisses you off yeah. so hard, you want to fucking yeah. strangle him, so you take, take it out of the weights. <laughs> uh, it's actually really not good to work out when you're in your No, I guess in my best season when I was younger, yeah, I saw the course of many muscles. Right. Probably right. right. Did you get a little too... I tried to kill myself, but I literally tried to say, uh, Andrew, I hope I don't make it out of here. Because I hope I die, my intensity so high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he can attest to that. What did we do? If we did a heavy set of deadlifts, you know, I was in the corner, and I patch in, we turn around, <sighs> catch our breath, and scream, What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> like, as loud as we could, like we wanted to kill somebody. And I wonder if I get kicked out. I love those old stories. He on his Instagram, he once in a while he'll post it, you know, a little clip and tell a story about you and him. It's it's fucking great. I love those. We stories. see people looking, which is natural. We were deadlifting like six plates or squatting five for. Nobody's saying shit to you. We see people looking for some reason. What the fuck are you looking? Like how dare we be torturing ourselves and you're over there looking at us. <laughs> You get 10 reps, my philosophy is put a little more weight on next time. Keep your form, but do it till you can't even move. Try to get that 10, then put the weight on. That's how your muscles are gonna only get only gonna grow is by using more tension with a correct amount of time, which per amount of reps. Ideally what, six, what, what? six to ten. What was that word you said? A cry? Yeah. A cry? Uh, what the fuck did you just say? I don't know. But <laughs> very simple. That's what we, we did back in the day. I got to over 450, Clark got to 300. Check us out at the 2004 Southern States. You want to see muscle mass? Yeah, it's there. Are you talking about we when, weren't ripped? when he did the 650 bench? No, we competed for the first time in 04. Oh, that video. We weren't ripped, <laughs> so we were massive. You know, that's days. when you freaked out, right? Yeah. Well, that was all cheated up. <laughs> that was great. G or E is perfect for the stage, especially ecstasy, it gives you more. Plus it gives you a pump. Yeah, the 2017 I Ruby, I thought he was going to drop dead backstage. Is he... You, he took, he, you took ecstasy before you went on stage? I took Fenobite that day, but no, mm -hmm. I never did, but it, that's ideal for the stage because it takes water out of you and your muscles. The 2017 Ruby? Mm -hmm. I did ecstasy. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. I could just see like your white <laughs> eyeballs bugging I'm out like, of your tan skin. <laughs> he, had, he had two. He had two. I'm like, why don't you take one? See how you do. Another thing, man. No, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> if you, someone's, I don't have the hookup anymore. And that was what we got to the hospital. You fucking take Very little training. But maniacs, I don't have the hookup anymore. If you want to send me some melanotan files, I will turn myself black as coal, and, <laughs> and we'll make a video with Prince. Where I'm protesting, even if I have to protest alone, say Black Lives Matter, and get an afro, which I was gonna talk about. Give me an afro wig. Oh my fucking god! If someone wants to send me, because all it takes, I'll be out in the sun every day. You don't even need it. You're, you're already darker than you. Well, I could, I could get really on that stuff. I, I know. Man, you you came in one time and you said, "God damn, you look like a you know what." <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> I used to call you Black Fucking Lenny, remember? Yeah. But somebody hooked me up with that. I don't have the hookup anymore. Melanotan? Melanotan 2. Where did you get, what was the company that made it before? Do you remember? 
purchase peptides. No, I know, but the manufacturer purchased peptides from the manufacturer? The That's where I got it from. Oh, why don't you just find out where he got that from? I could look online just press for cash right now. It would make it, it was something I always wanted to do. Are those, your, those, are your, for you. those are your grips? Yeah. Okay. Sit out in the sun, you'll get dark enough. Ah, eh, not that dark. You really put on an apple too? That would be funny. Sure would. But I think you're kind of missing the, uh, this shit's, hopefully this shit will all be over in a few days. Well, I won't be over. How's that? I'll keep doing it. <laughs> I'll hold up, give him a whole press conference. Oh, Christ. I feel like doing shit up to doing all that. Goddamn. Yeah, we need to get mirrors on these walls everywhere. Oh, sorry I don't make you squat without a mirror. It's okay. further walk to your beer? Yeah. Jay's gonna have five extra steps to get to his... Jay's leaving tomorrow, he's out. Oh, really? Yeah, got his truck, they got the truck situation figured out and he's gone. Is he Back coming to get road. his stuff? Back on the road, because he was right at his, his limit of annoyance. Mm. We need a frame for this little poster too. And it's all beat up. We need a bigger size of that. Like a nice big one to put on the wall. Brett, I'm so motivated right now being around this ambiance that you have here. Ambience. How could you not want it? I come in here, I want to lift. You come in here with LA Fitness, way too many distractions. Oh, it's awful. It's like a big couch, you want to go sit on a soft couch, you want to sit on the table and bullshit. You know, you got girls coming by, you got guys that know you. Too much BS. <laughs> 